We give honor to God who is our Father, to Jesus, our elderly brother, the Holy Ghost, our keeper. I'm Bishop Ted Thomas, prelate of the First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of Virginia, general board member of the Church of God in Christ, senior pastor of the New Community Church of God in Christ in Portsmouth, Virginia, and senior pastor of the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ in Virginia Beach, Virginia. My friend, the Bible tells us men ought to always pray and not faint. We are living in a praying time. We're living in a time that we need to turn to God and seek Him for guidance and direction. I, I, it's my personal feeling that God is calling His people and getting His uh, their attention. This virus that we have faced all over the world, uh, we the moral standards of our society has fallen to the point that God has to do something to get our attention. And I believe that it's through his permissive will uh, that he has allowed uh, uh, this virus to come. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for everything before you, we ask you for anything. First of all, I want to thank you for last night's sleep. It wasn't the sleep of death, but you touched me early this morning and awaken me from my rest. And I thank you for it. I don't take it for granted. I thank you, Lord, for you gave me a reasonable portion of health and strength. And when I awakened the day, I was able to put on my shoes, close myself, brush my teeth without any assistance. I know it may sound trivial to some, but with me, I think it's a blessing that you able me to do this. We thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for your many benefits toward men. Thank you for the food and clothing that you've given us. Now, Lord, uh, we ask that you look on us, look on America, look on the world, and search our hearts if you find anything that shouldn't be taken out and straighten us now. In the name of Jesus, you see it if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. See, then we would hear from heaven, and you'd forgive us of our sin, and you'd heal the land. Our land need healing, Lord. Forgive us for our transgression. Forgive us for our iniquities. Forgive us, Lord, for whatever we have done. In the name of Jesus, give us another opportunity. And I believe, Lord, that we will walk up right before you. Men will do right, God. In the name of Jesus. Bind the hand of the enemy, cast the devil out the wheel in the name of Jesus. Do it for your glory. Let your glory prevail in America in the name. Forgive us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, our souls say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. We'll obey your voice. We'll do what you want us to do. We'll live like you want us to live in the name of Jesus. Send the healing angel. Send him in the room, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you said you were wounded for our transgression. Bruised for our iniquities that the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with his stripes, we are healed. We need to be healed. In the name of Jesus. Lord, if you do it, we'll give you praise. We'll tell men you did it. And we thank you for what you've done. We thank you, Lord, for even in this, we see your glory. We see you, Lord. Even in this, for you have brought us together, given us time to reflect upon ourselves and see ourselves, see our children, see our families. We've been too busy. We're busy going about our own thing. But you told us to stop and wait a minute. And you put us in a place and in a position that we had to come and examine ourselves. So here we are now, Lord, asking you to forgive us and try us again. And we'll live for you. And we are counting it done now. We are claiming the healing. We are claiming deliverance. We are claiming set, being set free now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.